birds of prey are cared for at Newent in Gloucestershire. Prince Philip comes to see for himself the work being done at the conservation centre. That regal warrior of the skies is a golden eagle. One of the objects of the centre is the study of birds of prey, like the Hodgson hawk eagle. Here nature has given a helping hand through controlled breeding. Founder of the falconry centre, Philip Glacier, checks the pen of a desert eagle owl. Since the centre was founded in 1967, it is estimated that fledglings have been bred from 23 different species. The four-day-old Mackinder's eagle owls are taken out of their box for weighing. It became obvious to the Glacier family that Britain's wild bird life was being decimated by chemicals, guns, traps and most of all, human ignorance. So the Conservation and Falconry Centre was born. For 12 years they've cared for young, sick and injured birds, until this self-supporting centre has expanded beyond expectations. Last year, 40,000 visitors passed through the grounds at Newent, seeing the wild birds in their natural environment and observing the revival of the ancient art of falconry. Falconry is thought to have been practiced in China as long ago as 2,000 years before Christ. The shotgun and the planting of hedgerows, which limited the open stretches of country essential to these mighty hunters, brought about a swift decline. But the sport has never wholly died. Indeed, it is being revived here at Newark. Nature is savage, but not brutal for the sake of brutality. These birds hunt for their needs, nothing more. Since the Newent Birds of Prey and Falconry Centre was established, magnificent free-flying specimens of bird life have brought the old ways and the wild freedom of the skies to at least one small corner of Britain. The official residence of the Prime Minister of Great Britain, number 10 Downing Street, 